What is up, guys? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Ghost Robo, and we are here with Zeit Square, the newest Xbox Live Arcade release. And this is part of a series where I'll be featuring uh, some indie games, some Xbox Live Arcade games, PSN games, some overlooked games that you may not know about that are pretty cool. It's called Invisible Games. All right, so this is Zeit Square. I don't know if that is Russian or German. Um, it makes me think of the game Singularity and the voices in that game where everyone talk like this, and I probably shouldn't talk like this for much longer because my friends, who sort of function as my harshest critics, as well as my YouTube advisory board, say, don't do the voices. They are not good. But I say, whatever. I like the voices. It's fun. Games are fun. YouTube is fun. Let's bring back the voices. Um, that's a little bit of Transylvania there for you. So we're entering the tutorial. Zeit Squared is a time-traveling, bullet, side-scrolling shooter. Um, so this is going to give us the first little peek at the game. I heard about this game almost a full year ago in early 2010. Um, there was some preview coverage of it, and it looked pretty interesting, but it has not come out until just this week. So when an enemy passes you, it drains your health. So here, all of a sudden, we're seeing some new things uh, that you don't expect from typical bullet health shooters. Normally, you're trying to just avoid guys or any side-scrolling space shooter, avoid guys. This really isn't bullet hell, per se, um, as of yet. But we fire with the A button and take them out. You'll see a bonus meter in the top that can fill up to four times. And shooting bullets, interestingly enough, also costs health, which is kind of weird. I was not expecting that at all, so I guess we got to be a little bit diligent with our bullet count there. And it looks like we can go well over 100% health. We're constantly draining, I guess. Constantly draining health, and there's our boost meter building that up. So this is pretty, pretty basic. The background is a little bit boring. I'm not, not feeling that so much. Alright, so here is the time traveling effect. This is the cool part of the game, the main focus. What makes Zite Squared click? Um, so we're going to hold on the left trigger. As you can see, we got 4.2 seconds of time travel. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. So let's fire some bullets here, and then time travel back. And now look, if we go down here, oh, that's pretty awesome. So my, my ship actually redoes all of, its, all of its shooting, and so it can take out the guys up in the top row, while I take out the guys in the bottom row. Alright, so we're going to shoot these guys here, and it says that the power up here, we got some health, some time, and then a bomb for a big shockwave 11. Alright, here's a big guy. Alright, so if we, if we shoot him a bunch, check this out. Boom, boom, boom. And then we will wind all the way back. Our, our ship up there will take him out, and we can just focus on the guys down below, which is really, really awesome. Let's get that bomb. Ah! Didn't make it. Okay, so we take those guys out, rewind, and now we've got to get the little swimmies, the little guppies down below. Ah! Missed a couple there. Oh well. Alright, so we shoot him, rewind back a little bit, give us an extra time to get up there and blow that up. It's a pretty cool mechanic. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how it evolves throughout the game and if they add anything new. Okay, what's this guy? Whoa. Alright, I don't know what, what that guy was about. Perfect time travel. So there's a lot of scoring going on. Okay. What are these guys? Use the rewind time feature to destroy enemies that hide in space time by holding down the left trigger. Alright, so we're going to rewind here. <laughs> And now we can fire at these guys. All right. Well, we missed that guy. No. That's an interesting mechanic. Completed. Tutorial is done. All right. And now we are on to level uno. Level one here. Intro stage. If the tutorial wasn't intro enough for you, we've got the intro stage coming up. Um, it controls pretty well. It's just very simple, you know, moving up, down, left, and right, and then firing with the A button. And for some guys... You know, you don't need to use rewind, some guys you do. I'm guessing it's going to get a lot more hectic. So here, if we fire at those guys and rewind back, just to show you that cool power. Um, perfect time travel, CP points, whatever that means. I like, I like how the screen goes all black and white when you rewind. I'm not sure that I like this static blue background. I hope it changes throughout the levels. Otherwise, we could get a little tired. It'd be cool if they had some, you know, crazy space scene or something insane going on there. I like that we can just keep rewinding. Oh, but it only lets us... Okay, so it only lets you rewind back to your last time travel spot, so you can't just create a chain of rewinds. That would be a, a time loop paradox, and nobody wants that. So let me talk a little bit more about Invisible Games as we as we play through level 1. I'm going to be looking at games that, that typically don't get coverage um, on YouTube, and that's not to say they're going to be bad games, but like Zite Squared. Go, go search Zite Squared on YouTube and tell me what you find. You won't find very much. Um, so it could be Xbox Live Arcade Indie Games, it could be XBLA, it could be PSN, it could be PC, it could be pretty much anything. Uh, and I just want to really highlight those games and see if you guys like them, give, give you an extra taste of something that you may not normally uh, look at or may not normally consider. It could even be a retail game, a small game, like Lost in Shadows would fit perfectly in this category. 
I mean, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna structure this is, I don't, I don't want to do full playthroughs of these games, um, but I will do a couple episodes if people are interested. So the system we're gonna use, at least to start, is 25 likes equals another episode of the same game. So give this 25 likes, and if we get there, you will see episode two of Zayat Squared. If not, don't, don't leave thumbs down. We don't want any of that bad karma up in here. Just, just leave a comment and say next game, and we will, uh, we'll move on to episode two of Invisible Games. But I think this could be a lot of fun. Gives me a chance to play some some crazy kind of indie stuff, some smaller stuff, and bring it to you guys and see what you think about that. And level two is called Ghost. Thank you for that tribute, Zeit Squared. They must have made that just for me, just for Ghost Robo, knowing that we would be showing this game to you guys and more CP points. So I have to say, initial impressions are that this game is pretty cool, but it could get old um, kind of fast unless it gets more hectic and they expand upon, you know, all the mechanics. Um, let's play through this level a little bit here. And see what happens. Oh my, a sea of, a sea of big, big swimmers. We can't really take all of them out. But you have so much health, and there's so many of these power ups that I don't feel it's really much of a, uh, a bad thing if we if we miss a couple. Um, I'd like to see. Maybe it would be better if your health could not go past, could not go past. You know that 100 mark. Because I'm constantly even 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 losing health. I'm still above 100 and stuck there at 143. Um, as we take out this big guy. And you can see they've got that little meter to show that he's about to zap you and steal your health. Look, if we rewind here, now we can have double bullet power as both our uh, our time traveling ship and our real ship take out these guys. Uh oh, we're gonna get stuck here. So the little arrows that you pick up are time traveling juice to increase your how much how long you can rewind for, and then the little pluses are obviously health power ups. Um, it's kind of interesting that they're giving you you know both of these, I guess, and you can freeze those those changing ones by shooting them um, but it is cool you know if you build up six seconds of rewind time that's a pretty cool uh, scene I'm sure is, is you know you get all the way through all the way back rewind almost all the way back level what if we waited an entire level and then just rewind at the very end with like 30 seconds or 40 seconds what's the star I don't know what the star does um, but like 40 seconds of, of time rewind so yeah as we wrap this up let me know in the comments what you think about Zite Squared, and if you, you think it's a, a crappy game, just, just let me know that. And if you if you want to see more of it, leave that like, leave that comment, and make sure you subscribe for more Invisible Games. Go check out my DC Universe online playthrough, and go and check out my Little Big Planet 2 stuff that'll be coming early next week, Tuesday night. We will have all sorts of Little Big Planet 2 goodness up in Ghost Robo's house. So guys, as we wrap this up, I want to say thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we will see you later.